Well, for those of us of a certain age, posters of a certain pop star were likely plastered on our bedroom walls. And when Friday nights in, in the 70s rolled around, we were also parked in front of the TV. There was no missing the Donnie and Marie show. The variety show ran from 1976 to 1979 with every act from Cher to the Harlem Globetrotters. The brother and sister took breaks to raise families, then came back in the 2000s for a Vegas residency. And now Donnie is back doing it all solo. And he joins us live now from Las Vegas with more about his upcoming Chicago show coming here very, very soon. Thanks for joining us this morning, Donnie. Good morning, Dana. How you doing? I'm great. Now, first, coincidentally, it is National Record Store Day. I don't know if you know that, and so I brought in. Some I of saw my... the previous. I, I saw the previous segment where uh, who was it that put uh, Jackie put up a, one of my albums? Yes, because earlier in the day, I brought in a couple of my very first albums, and I'm not joking about this. This is a coincidence. One is Portrait of Donnie. <laughs> Oh, I remember that one. And the other, of course, is your first album with your sister Marie, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very first. So I want you to well, know. Well, you know what's interesting about uh, this uh, bringing up the albums is that this show that I'm bringing to Chicago, back to my old home of Chicago theater. That's where I did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. I was going to ask you about cause, that. Because yes. that, well, that was home to me for like uh, two years. I lived in Wilmette. So mm. I can hardly wait to come back. But... Uh, there's a segment in the show I call the request segment where I put all 65 albums that I've done and anyone in the audience can pick any song I've ever recorded. And we do it just like that. It's like 15 or 20 minutes and we just we hit like five, six, seven songs, whatever the audience wants to hear. So those two albums keep coming up a lot. Did you? So I had scripted questions in order, but you already talked about coming full circle in Chicago. Did you say 65 albums? 65? So far. See, I want to do about two or three more, then I think I'll beat Elvis's record. Wow. So uh, right now I'm at 65. That's, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, um, let me ask you about sort of the longevity of your career. I mean, it's, yeah. you're in six decades now. I mean, you're not, it's not been 60 plus years, but you are in your sixth decade. Yes, it has. Actually, it has been 61, no. 60, yeah, 61 years. Wow. Since you were, what, five years old? Since I started professionally at five, yeah. With your brothers, of course, before yeah. moving solo and then with Marie. But what to what do you attribute your longevity? Well, one of the things that I, I do, Dana, is that when I put on a show, it's just not a concert. It's, it's a, uh, an event. Uh, I want people to walk away saying, I'm going to remember that moment for the rest of my life. So it's a two-hour show. In Vegas, it's a 90-minute show, but it's two hours uh, when I tour of six decades of show business in two hours. And I, I, I fit everything I've done in one show. It's pretty amazing. And so sometimes, Dana, when people bring a big production, a Las Vegas production on the road, they kind of scale it down a little bit for, for traveling purposes. I'm not doing that. I'm bringing the entire award-winning show and so proud of this show because we have uh, won quite a few awards with this thing, best, best production, best show best headliner so i know that sounds like i'm bragging but when you get those kinds of awards in the entertainment capital of the world you you tell people why about would it. you not why would you not and i know you have devoted fans from over the past six decades as well who i'm sure would love to see you i want to go back to your chicago connection from when you did um joseph and the amazing technicolor dream coat back in the 90s you said you lived in wilmette you were here for almost two years i saw the show actually back then what was your favorite part of chicago what do you like most about chicago or chicago audiences the first of all there's two things that come to mind uh, the people I loved dealing with the people. It's great people. Uh, the food. Uh, and third, the atmosphere. Um, not the winters. I, I can't stand the wind. That wind coming off the lake is, is just goes right through you. That's yeah, brutal. But uh, I, I just have great memories of Chicago because it was so good to me during Joseph. Yes, I worked hard. The entire cast worked very, very hard. But it was extremely successful. And I, I just enjoyed my time there. So in a way, I kind of feel like that's... I'm coming home. You know, I know in the break leading up to the interview, I had mentioned to you that I was a big fan and wanted to marry you when I was a little uh, little girl. Um, but in all seriousness, you were a teen heartthrob for, you know, a good decade or so before moving on and, of course, you know, yeah. up in your career. Um, does it ever bother you when people like me say, oh, my gosh, when I was, you know, uh, a teenager or younger, I just, I just thought you hung the moon? Does that bother you now or is it an honor? No, because I actually did hang the moon. I, I really did. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, um, no. You know, it used to bother me, Dana, when I was trying to change my image after Puppy Love and all that kind of stuff. And then I realized, you know what? There's nothing wrong with those songs. There was nothing wrong with that career. It put it got me where I am today. In fact, Puppy, Puppy Love is the second song in the set list, um, and I treat it with respect. I don't make fun of it or anything like that. And what's really interesting in this request segment that I talked about earlier, mm -hmm. a lot of people just want to relive those memories and. Go Away Little Girl comes up, 12th of Never, um, I Knew You When, uh, Too Young, all these songs keep coming up, and, and Crazy Horses keeps coming up all the oh, time, well too. That, People want to hear Crazy Horses. Right. Oh, by the way, so, that's one of my husband's I, favorite I, songs. I absolutely love it when, when people <laughs> ask for the old songs, because well, I, there's so much in this show, so it's not just about the 70s or what I did back then. It is everything. In fact, I got to tell you this one thing before we wrap up. I do a rap in the show. Oh no! And uh, oh, it, it's it's the the coolest thing. It's um, I'll give you a little bit. It all began back in Utah. I was four years old. Started singing with my brothers, and the sound was like gold. So my folks took a leap and said, "What the hey? We got to get these monsters out to California!" Yay. And it goes on for ten minutes. Oh Dana, my goodness! And it covers everything i've done in six decades oh well that sounds great the whole show sounds great obviously it's getting you know major accolades and we are just so thrilled to have you on our show with us this morning donny osmond Thanks, thank Dana. you so thank you so much and um of course your show coming up here at the chicago theater in just under two months you can get tickets for donny osmond's june 14th show at the chicago theater now at ticketmaster and we took a peek and there are still a few tickets available on the main floor even, so keep that in mind.